<laughs> we're off to a good start. The water is still in the can. Today we're going to be planting hedges. I have these plants for over a week in a plastic bag and I need to get the roots into the ground because the uh, hazel is already starting to bud. Let me tell you what we have. 20, 50 spindle, 50 dog rose, 50, uh, what are that? Blackthorn, and we have 50 hazel. And at the front here, we have 150 uh, oh, what do you call it? Hawthorn. 150 Hawthorn. It's going to make, the, the idea was it's going to make up 50% of the hedge. But the guy put through these in. Well, paid for them. We threw them in. We'll have them anyway. Although the hedge is already full of hazel, we'll add some more to it. That's the sign of spring. We're going to be using this uh, mycorrhizal fungi again. The reason for bringing the water, I'm going to mix it in with the water and throw some roots into it. Whisk that up. Up along this fence line, I'm actually going to put in, uh, uh, well, let's, let's say five of each variety, with the idea that potentially I could propagate them, take cuttings and maybe sell it. We're back to the stone age, with no sharp knife. Watch with this for a brain wave. See the colour off it? I can ask top water. Is it yucky? This one's wire. Let's go. Well, see that first apple tree? Remind me, I need to get that stake tin before it blows over. Right. We're going to plant a row here. In doing so, from the entrance, the hedge that that Andrew left, that he didn't cut the top off. I'm going to drop it down and put the fence on. And if you look up from that gate post, it's going to be heading up there, hopefully blocking the house if it ever happens. You know what I've just realised? We're on the wrong side of the fence. Zubo lift. Eat your weed effects, kids. You'll end up with a bad back with me lifting too heavy a weight. I'm just going to open up the channel. I put them in. One row deep, one row wide. Let's put the water channel. That's what it's actually doing. And for spacing from this, I'm using my hip. But you see, touch it, wiggle it. Touch it. There's, this. There's about six foot. I'm planting these in bunches together so that I can identify them at a later stage. So root in. Heel on. I've already got the gap, just put my hand in and slide them into it. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is hazel. Hazel, blackthorn. This is the nice one. Oh, spindle. Hazel, blackthorn, spindle, dog rose and hawthorn that's all the species this is for my record <laughs> so i remember i'm gonna potentially take cuttings grow them out that if someone was local to me and looking to put in a wee hedge i could assist i could assist them in taking their money that's the plant for farmer pete Hawthorn, dog rose, spindle, blackthorn, hazel. Ask me that in the nurse time, see if I remember. Now you can see from here, across to here, will be hedgerow, and that will block out this side. See? 
That's the plan, folks. There's that bit of wire I asked Andrew to pull out. It was over in the corner here, the most northerly corner of the field. This hedgerow is not mine either. Now you can see the fence. Right, we'll go down across this bottom row. Hey, I'm starting to get warm. Is it because I'm on fit or is it because the summer the sun's heating up? This hedgerow here, I've always had intended on laying it that way to the west and then go up the road to the north. But there's a bit of a bank there, there's no bank down there, and there's no bank up there. So I don't know how easy it's going to be to actually do that. So what I'm going to do, given that the, the most northern hedge isn't mine and the most eastern hedge isn't mine, I'm going to plant a row across this. And if next year that I, get, I am able to lay it, that's a bonus. If not, this will still fill it. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> Treacherous. Right, take two. My speed. You know, rightly, I have a hand bill hook at home. I actually found an older one that uh, well, used to be Jane's grandas. That's Jane's my wife, her grandas. It's all rusted, seen it this morning. I got his old garden tools years ago and I, I stored them away. Um, and Jason actually found me an open shape hook, which would be, I don't know if it's on a shaft, but it would be ideal for doing this. But I'm here with a broken spade, with a spade with a broken shaft, broken handle, trying to plant hedge. It's going to take me that long, it'll be become part of the hedge. Holy moly. This is madness in here. Right, I'll do this wee bit and then I'll be coming out because I don't have any... I need... I've had some tools would help. But I've not... nothing. <laughs> right guys. That's not going to work. I'm not going to work at it anyway. It's just madness in there. I've already cut the shreds. Folks, that's not going to work today. My hands are already full of thorns. I'm going to go home, reassess the situation, and come back up armed with a bill hook, the one that I bought for hedging. I'm going to try and get the, the Jane's grandfather's sorted. The one that Jason has, we'll have a look at it to maybe try and get it set up. Maybe bring the battery chainsaw and do a whole pile of stuff. But next time I go in there, I need to spend the day actually sweeping through it, clearing it all out before I start to plant the hedge. So, two more videos of hedging coming your way. Folks, if you like what I'm doing, consider subscribing. We're just about around 1,000 subscribers, which they say that the, the first 1,000 is the hardest to get. Pick a thorns out. It's not easy. Right, we're going to leave it here. If you like what I'm doing, consider subscribing. Until the next one, see you in the field.